Just tell me if you can see me. Okay. I can see you. <laughs> okay. Welcome to um cooking for amateurs. How to Rubik's solve. How to solve a Rubik's cube beginner's special. method. Special. Special edition. This is Rubik's cube, and if you don't have one, then don't bother watching this video. Actually, do, do borrow it from a friend, but still watch the video and comment on it and stuff. I'm Lucas, and I'm the chef from Cooking for Amateurs. And if you haven't watched that, watch that too. I think that's pretty much it. So we're gonna just I'm gonna teach you how to solve a Rubik's cube. So yeah, let's do it. And this is the cameraman. I'm gonna be teaching him. He's representative mm -hmm. of the YouTube community. And I'm going to see if he, uh, if I can teach him, then I'm assuming that I can teach you. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I just made a political speech. So, so... Let's get started. Yeah. So we'll be back. Yes, we will. Are you ready to learn how to solve it? I think I'm ready to learn how to solve a Rook's Cube. Do you have any idea about notations? No. Then this might be a little bit hard. Or think because I have because I have to assume that nobody that's watching knows anything about notations, algorithms, or stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to teach you. So let me see here. I'm actually gonna get up for this. Well, you should have assumed okay. anyway. Okay. If we're looking at the front side, I mean the red side, the red side. Oh, I'll start off by saying that these little square. This is red, and this is orange. It might be hard to distinguish that on the camera. In fact, it is. But the darker one is red, and the lighter one is orange. You can obviously tell that's orange. And you can't really tell that that's red, and we're about to run out of batteries, so this is bad. Um, but, this is red. So if you see, if you look, the red, the one in the middle, this little square in the middle, that's the color of the side. So this is the red side, and this is the yellow side, because the side in the middle is yellow. And that's an orange side, that's the green side, that's the blue side, that's the white side. I think I got them all. Whoa, now it's going to get harder. So, now let, let's, uh, let's, let's start with the red side. So, if we're looking at the red side, and this is the red side. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is the red side. If we're looking at the red side, you better listen to this camera, man. I was... The red side, this is the front. If we're looking at the red side, this is the front. And then, this right here, this one I'm turning right now, this is right. This one up here, and I'm turning, is up. Not top, up. This is up. You need to know that for notations and stuff. This one is left. The one on the left, and the one on the bottom is not bottom, it is down. Down. And then I guess technically, this one... Back, I can't really see that. that. The one back here is back, but you don't use that at all. And this is front that you can turn. All right. So now, I guess I'll get right into algorithms. But first, a test for cameraman. Cameraman, if you're looking at the right side, what is ah? Move it. What is this side? Up. And what is this side? Right. And this side. Uh, top. This one, this one cameraman. Oh, uh, confusing people. Front! Front, yes. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Alright. So, now, you're going to scramble your cube, and I think we'll be right back. Here, so, start scrambling your cube, and wait, should I do anything before that? Yeah, I don't think so, because now we need to just learn the algorithm and stuff. So, so I'm going to start scrambling it. So you just scramble it up, and blah, 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 make it really nice and scrambled, and blah, blah, blah. And we're going to take a break and we'll be right back and I might have to untape all of this and put new batteries in. Okay, so, yes, but we'll be right back. Keep scrambling. Oh! I know, it's on, jeez. Whoopsies. It's okay, okay. Fix on hole in center. Back <laughs> off. And zoom in. There we go. Okay. Whoa! So as you can see, I have this all scrambled up. Make sure you can see this camera. Yeah. All right. So if you get it all scrambled up, all nice and scrambled. Don't take the easy way out and turn it like two times. That's you, me. You've got Who it. does that? <laughs> well, you, well, cameraman. After this is over, you won't have to. 
All right. But so, I don't have a Rubik's cube. All right, you got this unscrambled up. All right, so I'm gonna have to start teaching you about stuff. Now, which side should we start with? Uh, uh. Don't look at it. Just think. Just think of. I'm relying this all on the case. This doesn't even matter. Just, just orange. Think. Orange. Okay, so we're starting with the orange side. Where's that orange side? Opposite of rain. All right. So now we got the orange side because the middle one is orange, right, cameraman? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, the ca cameraman knows all about this. Oh yeah. Why are you even watching this video? Of course. I mean, come on. If you know what orange is, then it's no problem. Okay, so now. Of what we want to do is we want to make a cross. So we want it to make it, we want this orange, this orange, this orange, and this orange. Can you make sure that people can see that? Yeah. I'm not sure. Let's check. It's probably too high up. If I'm holding it right there. Uh, yeah, it's too high up. I'm going to put it up. There, okay. there we go. So this should be, all four of these should be orange. It should make a cross, an orange cross. And be really super awesome. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to, all right. You know what? This is evil. I'm just going to hold it right here. Alright, so if you look, can you see, can you see that that's orange? Yeah. Alright, so, you want to make all this orange. You want to make a little cross, a plus sign in orange, or an X, or a plus sign, or whatever you want to call it, a hospital symbol. Swedish medical. So what you have to do, <laughs> is you have to, um, have to make the cross, and this doesn't really require any algorithms, it's just intuitiveness. But, here, if we look, so we got orange. If we flip it upside down, um, how am I going to explain this? So if we flip it up, if we have the orange right here, and right underneath it we have an orange, and we just turn it all the way around. So that's another, that's one of the parts of the cross. But, if you, I'm going to have to stand up for this too. Whoa. So if you have orange, Right here, so you have an orange here and an orange here. Well, don't don't worry about that. All right, so you have an orange here, but if you turn it, this is blue and this is yellow, and you want it to be blue and blue. You want them to match up, or else it doesn't work. So you just turn it. So now you got the orange on the orange side, and if you turn it over, you got blue on the blue side. Does that make sense, cameraman? Yes, that makes sense. And so now you just gotta pretty much just use intuitiveness to uh, try and solve it, to make the cross on the top. So like here's one. So we just turn it up. That's a red. That's not an orange. This is orange. So we got the blue there. We look over here. Yeah, orange and orange and white and white. So that makes sense too. Wow. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> now just turn it over again. And there we go. We got orange and green. Orange, orange and green. And one last one. Here's the last one. And here I guess I can try and show you how to do this. So if we have an orange right here and we just flip it like this, then we mess that up. Okay, so there we go. So what you have to do is you have to turn the top and then put the orange up and then turn it back. And then you have a cross on the top. You got the orange and the orange, and then you got the green, and the white, and the blue, and the yellow. Cameraman is freaking out because now he knows how to solve it. No, I don't. Okay, <laughs> so, now, what you want to do is you want to solve these corners. Here is where the algorithms start coming in. I might have to edit these in later. But, like text. But, now, here is where I'm going to have to start teaching about notation. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, so that that was that was the fun part. Now it's just a bunch of algorithms and stuff. So or lock, lock, so lock, the first lock, so let me see here. So what we're gonna do is front. If we're looking at the front, if the green side is the front, it looks a lot lighter on the camera screen than it does. It does really. looks like lime green. It's really awesome. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna back this up a little bit. It's lime green so it just feels a little more comfortable. So excuse me, cameraman. So so if we're gonna, this is for this, what we're gonna do right now. So this is gonna be the front side. So front. If you see, if if on the web or something you see an algorithm and it says front, if it's or actually F. F is for front. U is for up. D is for down. R is for right. L is for left. And you remember those, right? This is up. This is right. This is down. This is left. 
and this is front or F. 